Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning, features, shorter and longer and equally be them under monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a market situation where so many sellers are selling similar but differentiated products. Monopolistic competition is a market situation where so many sellers are selling similar but differentiated products. That means uses of each seller product are same but quality and feature of each seller product is different from other seller. As we know there are so many companies which are selling shampoo like L'Oreal, Clinique Plus, Tresima, Head and Shoulder. Uses of each shampoo is same. We wash our hair from shampoo but quality and feature of each company is shampoo is different from other. Quality of L'Oreal is different from Tresime. Quality of Tresime is different from Head and Shoulder. It will be called monopolistic competition. Features of monopolistic competition are there are larger number of buyers and sellers, product differentiation that means quality and feature of each seller is different from other. Free entry and exit of firm, firm don't compete with each other on the basis of price that's why it will be called known price comp competition. Firm compete with each other by, give, by giving advertisement, free gift, after sale service that's why their selling cost is high, their advertisement cost is very high. Now we are going to talk about short term equilibrium under monopolistic competition. At short time period, monopolistic mainly have three situations, super normal profit, normal profit and loss. One by one we discuss about each. First of all, we will see super normal profit. In this diagram on x axis we have output, y axis we have price, revenue and cost. MR is marginal revenue curve. AR is average revenue curve, AC is average cost curve, MC is marginal cost curve. There are three conditions of super normal profit. Marginal cost is equal to margin revenue. Marginal cost cut margin revenue from below. Average revenue is more than the average cost. OQ amount of output is giving a super normal profit. At this E point you can see marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue plus marginal cost cut marginal revenue from below. So at this E point two conditions of super normal profit have satisfied. MQ is our average revenue because this M point touches our average revenue curve. KQ is our average cost because this K point touches our average cost curve. Here you can see MQ is more than the KQ that means average revenue is more than the average cost. And difference between average revenue and average cost is MK will be called per unit super normal profit. And this whole part T, P, MK will be called total super normal profit. So we can say the OQ amount of output is giving us super normal profit. Now we are going to talk about normal profit. Two condition will remain same. MC equal to MR means marginal cost equal to marginal revenue and marginal cost cut marginal revenue from below because these two are stable equilibrium conditions. So it will be remain same. But in case of normal profit our average revenue is equal to average cost. In this diagram you can see OQ amount of output is giving us normal profit because all condition of normal profit are satisfied at this OQ amount of output. At this E point you can see MC equal to MR plus MC cut MR from below. KQ is our average uh, revenue because this K point touches our average revenue curve. This K point also touches our average cost curve. So we can say that KQ also is our uh, average cost. So we can say that at OQ amount of output our average revenue is equal to average cost. So OQ amount of output is giving us a normal profit at this amount of output our all condition of normal profit are satisfied. Now we are going to talk about loss. Two condition of loss will remain same MC equal to MR and MC cut MR from below. In case of loss our average cost is more than the average revenue. OQ amount of output giving us loss. At E point uh, MC is equal to MR and MC cut MR from below. Two conditions of loss are satisfied. KQ is our average uh, cost and TQ is our average revenue. KQ is more than TQ that means average cost is more than average revenue and difference between average cost and average revenue this KT will be called per unit loss and this whole part PR KT will be called our total loss. So we can say the OQ amount of output is giving us a loss. Now we will see long run equilibrium under monopolistic competition. At short time period it can possible monopolistic competition receive super normal profit, normal profit or loss. 
बिकॉज एट शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड फॉर्म्स कैन नॉट एंटर और एग्जिट फ्रॉम द मार्केट बट एट लॉन्ग टाइम पीरियड एनी फॉर्म कैन एंटर एंड एग्जिट फ्रॉम मार्केट एंड देर इज सो मच कॉम्पिटिशन दैट सो एट लॉन्ग टाइम पीरियड अंडर मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन फॉर्म विल ऑलवेज रिसीव नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट In this diagram, you can see firm is receiving normal profit at long time period. Condition of normal profit are marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. Marginal cost cut marginal revenue from below, and longer than average cost is equal to longer than average revenue. OQ amount of output is giving us a normal profit at this E point. Uh, marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue plus marginal cost cut marginal revenue from below. RQ is our average revenue, and this RQ is our uh, average cost. so we can say that average cost is equal to average revenue oq amount of output our all condition of normal profit is satisfied so we can say that oq amount of output firm is receiving normal profit at long time period so this is all about monopolistic competition i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care